In that scathing report released just hours ago, we're learning that female soldiers based at Army posts here in Texas face the highest risk of sexual assault compared to other bases. Terrell Baker is looking into this tonight and is live at Fort Hood with much more. Todd, according to that study, one in 12 of female soldiers at Fort Hood were sexually assaulted. Now, there have been several incidences at the base, but they have been taking steps to improve. A new study by Rand Corp shows Texas Army posts have the highest risk of female soldiers getting sexually assaulted or harassed compared to all other bases in the military. The study comes more than a year after the death of Specialist Vanessa Guillen. Her sister, Myra Guillen, says it's no surprise. What happened with my sister, Vanessa, it's, it's a major example of how the, the severity it could lead to if change isn't done and, you know, we need to do it now. Guillen's death shed a light on a number of issues at the post and sparked several investigations into sexual misconduct at Fort Hood and across the military. It's unfortunate, you know, maybe they need to be guarding them more or giving them more um, lessons and um, um, instructions on what to look for and how to spot it and how to deal with it. According to the study, the risk for assault for women at Fort Hood was nearly a third higher than the average risk faced by all women in the military. The call for change at Fort Hood has not fallen on deaf ears. Major Gabby Thompson says they've switched leadership, started the People First initiative and made several changes. Well before the report, investigations began. Soldiers and sometimes even some of our leaders didn't really know or understand how to report uh, sexual assault or sexual harassment. And that's what people are getting after uh, with um, our Sharp 360 program, kind of an immersive program uh, where our soldiers go through sexual assault, sexual harassment training. Um, and it's a very iterative process. The Guillen family says they've seen several changes at Fort Hood and believe they made a genuine effort to change the culture, but they still say more needs to be done. That's why they're working to pass the Vanessa Guillen Act. And that's why, you know, the, again, the Guillen bill is so important. So that way the issue, the main issue here, sexual harassment and assault or misconduct in the military will be resolved and uh, changes to the system will be implemented. That study also shows that Army bases in Texas, as well as Colorado, Kentucky, and also Kansas, account for more than one third of the millet of the sexual assault that has been hap that happened in 2018, and that includes a study that was done on active duty women in the military during that time. Live at Fort Hood, Rail Baker, 25 News.